This is a Swad Walker, pastor of the Shrine Christian Center of Houston here in Houston with another installment of our uh, weekly ministerial video blog. And I want to talk today about the fact that it seems to be a new boldness bubbling up or settling upon black people these days where we are feeling more emboldened to speak our truth and we are not worried about um, getting acceptance or getting permission from anyone else to say what spirit tells us to say and share what spirit is telling us to say. And we see it in many different ways. We see it in that incredible and um, heart-wrenching uh, lemonade that uh, Sister Beyonce produced and showed to the world on HBO where she bared her soul for the world. Um, but she did it from the perspective of this is a black woman, this is our life, our journey, our pain, and we're not asking your permission to say it, and we don't care if you accept it. But we also see it in many different ways. We see it in the number of people who are um, speaking their truth about the life and legacy of Prince. Uh, the media has come out here recently with four, five, ten different negative stories about his life and his eventual death, but people who know him or just his fans are coming out and saying their truth. They're not worried about what the world says or what the media says. Black folks seem to be way more bold and audacious about speaking our truth. Uh, we see it in people assessing or reassessing the legacy of our president, uh, Barack Obama. Again, not caring about what CNN or Fox or whoever says in their assessment, we are becoming bolder and bolder about speaking our truth. But not only there, it, you, you can go to high schools or and middle schools and all over the country, you see young people who are taking the reins or taking the microphone or taking to Twitter or wherever to share their feelings, their angst, their joys and their celebrations, celebrating the, the, the good and positive of our culture or pointing out the negative, being, being um, brave enough to go against the grain and do that. But there is definitely a boldness that is coming upon our people. It is refreshing to see. It is refreshing to participate in, to listen to. And I am just so glad about it. We have to keep being open to spirit, to let God speak to and through us, and not worry about the repercussions. Because there's always going to be repercussions, whether you say uh, what folk want to hear or whether you say what folk need to hear. There's repercussions if you don't say anything at all. I can't remember the the quote, but it says, um, for those who were silent, if we're silent in our pain, uh, they will kill us and say that we enjoyed it. And I know I'm but butchering that quote, but you get the feeling of what I'm what I'm trying to say. Continue to be bold, continue to be bolder because that is what God placed in you. And if God placed a dream in you or God placed a, a, a spirit or a word in your heart, be bold enough to share it. We'll see you again next week on our weekly ministerial blog coming from the Pan-African Orthodox Christian Church. And if you are in Houston and would like to worship with us, uh, we are at 5313 Martin Luther King Boulevard between OST and Griggs, not too far from TSU, from UH, McGregor Park, Palm Center, all that. Look forward to seeing you. God bless.